By all means, get coffee, tea, there's biscuits, and um, there's a wee bit of fruit as well. Just up it. We're not going to take a break over the next, um, probably going to be about an hour and 45 minutes. So, but we are excited to have Keith in here. Respect. What is the other story that could be going on here? And even better, as you said, directly ask them, right? Go and ask them. What is the crack? What can I take on? What can I learn? What can I do better with next time? And then. Look, I'll give a quick background to me. Um, I'm one of the founders of Connected Health. So, Connected Health started about 10 years ago with 47 staff uh, in home care. Uh, we set about trying to, to try and revolutionise what home care meant to people. So today we employ about 1,300 people. We turn over about 25 million quid. Uh, and really our journey has been about how we deliver what I call home care 2.0. So then we had set about um, building what I call our kind of living lab where we test and trial both service innovations and product innovations and things like that. So a kind of a different approach to this idea of look, we go in and help somebody get dressed or we help them shower. We're trying to revolutionise all of that. So we are business from 25 to 100 million. So that's been fun times. And just to give you some reassurance in terms of resilience of leadership, we were three weeks from going bust about seven years ago. Okay, so uh, that's how close it was, and that's how close we came to the wire. My approach to leadership is a little bit different. What I'd like you to do is kind of close your eyes for a second. Uh, and I want you to create a virtual piece of paper in your mind. And on the left hand side of that piece of paper, I want you to think about the best leader you ever worked for, or leaders that you admire. Um, it could be someone like Elon Musk or uh, Winston Churchill. List down all the things you love about that particular leader. So are they charismatic? Had the energy? Had the vision? Had the creativity? What did you like most about them? Then I want you to keep that same person in mind and I want you to go to the right hand side of your piece of paper and just write down in your mind everything you didn't like about their leadership style. So maybe they lost their temper a lot. Maybe they were unfair. Maybe they were a great leader but they were terrible at getting stuff done. And now what I want you to do is basically rip that piece of paper in two in your mind and just keep the piece on the left and do that. Okay, so it's the fastest track I can get to helping people become better leaders. Okay, so you can open your eyes again. When a journalist asked him whenever he created the light bulb, why did it take you a thousand times to fail? He was like, no, it was just an invention with a thousand steps. Right, so it's that reframe. Looking at things from a different perspective and allowing yourself to critically think. I love this quote from Max Dupree. Have emotions and to engage with them, but do not allow them to control you and overwhelm you. The way that we can start to break through that is just asking questions and allowing yourself to do that. And make a note. Again, make a note throughout the day of all the times that you do use those coping skills, because there will be many. Tell us who you are and why you came today. Yeah, um, it's not just a bear and it's wrong, and I can help. She came obviously to one day hopefully be an emergency like leader. Like well, a leader, and I suppose obviously this opportunity to come here will oh, no, well, so let like. me learn and try and get to where I want to be. So, what, what did you think of today? Uh, I was a mechanical engineer and a PhD uh, researcher at uh, Queen's University of Belfast. Uh, and uh, we are carrying on a project with spirit iron systems. And I'd like to introduce my startup uh, maybe in uh, 2024. Actually, uh, the uh, presentations are really brilliant. Uh, and uh, I really like uh, the presentation of uh, Ryan. Uh, there are many uh, uh, brilliant uh, quotes uh, from uh, many uh, inspirational leaders. Uh, and uh, these uh, presentations are really beneficial for me uh, for the future. Are you going to come to any other? Yes, I'd like to attend the upcoming uh, events uh, of Rails uh, Ventures uh, and happy to be uh, here. <laughs> Hello, my name is Pamela Topping. Uh, my business is Colour Wired, and I'm down here today at Rays to learn about leadership. Um, I've done many courses, um, a lecture as well as a business owner, and throughout my whole journey, I've never done a course in leadership. So I'm really hoping to learn, hoping to network, and really looking forward to the challenge of the next eight weeks. 
um, thoroughly enjoyed this morning. Um, great people, lovely to hear all the other businesses. So, what's your name? And tell, tell us why you came today. Hi, I am Indigo and um, I am trying to start a social startup. It's going to be services catered for neurodivergence and it will also be run by neurodivergence to help tackle some of the unemployment rates and also um, start to normalize neurodivergency as well. Amazing. I really want to tailor like your support groups for things like um, autistic women, things to do with like even baby loss, grief, all kinds of stuff because there's no, there's not enough research or studies out there yeah. for how that affects people that are neurodivergent. Yeah. Um, I also have some personal lived experiences which is also what's motivated me um, to do this as well. So. Yeah, I just what, threw myself into the deep end at the moment and I'm just trying to work it out as I go. <laughs> where did you see it? Did you see it online or where did you see all the courses um, there is? Oh, that's right. I was having a look through there and um, it's really good for just finding. I didn't know it existed. I discovered it and came across you guys. And I love the fact that there was also a focus on well-being. I haven't seen enough of that in this kind of world and it's, it's going to help people keep going and not burning out as well in was, the long term. Was this your first time doing a race? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Are you going to be back? Oh, definitely. I'm going to be doing the bulk package. <laughs> Is this what you enjoyed today then? Yeah, I'm definitely going to the mall. Um, so it's definitely going to benefit me, for sure. Awesome. Thank you so much. Cheers.